Welcome to your daily devotional, My Life Today, December, and Eternal Life. December 5th, Be ready and waiting. And it shall be said in that day, Lo, this is our God, we have waited for him, and he will save us. This is the Lord, we have waited for him, we will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. Isaiah 25 verse 9 As I hear of the terrible calamities that from week to week are taking place, I ask myself, what do these things mean? The most awful disasters are following one another in quick succession. How frequently we hear of earthquakes and tornadoes, of destruction by fire and flood, with great loss of life and property. Apparently, these calamities are capricious outbreaks of seemingly disorganized, unregulated forces, but in them, God's purpose may be read. They are one of the means by which he seeks to arouse men and women to a sense of their danger. The judgments of God are in the land. They speak in solemn warning, saying, Be ye also ready. For in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. We are living in the closing scenes of this earth's history. We have no time, not a moment, to lose. Let us not be found sleeping on guard. Let us persuade men and women everywhere to repent and flee from the wrath to come. Let us arouse them to immediate preparation, for we little know what is before us. He, the Lord, is soon coming, and we must be ready and waiting for his appearing. Oh, how glorious it will be to see him and be welcomed as his redeemed ones. If we can but see the King in his beauty, we shall be forever blessed. I feel as if I must cry aloud, homeward bound. We are nearing the time when Christ will come in power and great glory to take his ransomed ones to their eternal home. In the great closing work, we shall meet with perplexities that we know not how to deal with but let us not forget that the three great powers of heaven are working, that a divine hand is on the wheel, and that God will bring his promises to pass. He will gather from the world a people who will serve him in righteousness. An eternal life, December 5th.